Hi everybody, good morning. This is Miss Michelle coming at you from the Doylestown Library with a Quick Bites live video today. As you can see from our sign, we're going to be making our own origami tic-tac-toe board. Oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be awesome. So what you'll need to make this origami tic-tac-toe set is four sheets of origami paper. Okay, one, two, three, four. And you can make them similar colors for your X's and your O's. You'll also need a pair of scissors to cut. So we don't always use scissors in origami, but for this, we're going to be making these into smaller pieces so we can make our X's and O's. Now, they're going to look something like this. This is the X, and this is the O. Okay, so this is what our final project is going to look like. So everybody, get ready, get your origami paper, and let's get folding. Now I'm going to start with the green, and I think that the green paper is going to be our X's. What do you think? I think that's a good idea. So the first step is to make our paper smaller. Okay, so we're going to fold, hit it into quarters. Okay. There we go. And we'll fold both of our papers into quarters. All right. Now, I'm going to use this really bright green because I like that one a lot. Now, this is going to be most of our. So we're going to make five pieces for each. So we're really only going to use one piece plus another quarter. So we're going to cut along the lines of our fold that we made here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hopefully you guys will do a better job of making your cuts straight, but you'll see in the end it won't really matter too much if your cuts aren't straight or if your pieces aren't exactly square. That's all right. It's part of the charm. It's a little bit askew. <laughs> there we go. So there are our pieces. And we'll make, we'll just cut out one of these squares and then we can save the rest of the paper to use for another project. All right, so we're going to have five squares of paper. Now, I'm going to set four of them aside, and we're just going to work with one to start with. Now, the fun thing about origami is this part now, all of our folding. So what we'll do is fold the paper in half, and then fold each side up to meet the middle. And you'll see what we're going to do is we're going to make a lot of fold lines on our paper before we even begin making our X. So we'll fold it in half again. We're going to do the same thing to the other side here in the other direction. There we go. Fold it to meet the middle. And you'll see here that on our paper we have a lot of different squares. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over so that the colored side is up and we're going to fold it into a triangle just like that. Okay. Then we're going to open it up and fold it the other way. All right, there we go. And we're going to unfold it again. <laughs> so now our paper has lots and lots of guide folds on it which will make making our X even easier. So what we're going to do then is turn our paper over so that the blank side is facing up. And we're going to kind of tease these little triangles in the corner up and fold them in and up. Okay, there we go. That might take a little bit of work. Eventually, you're going to want to make it look like this. Okay. So those triangles, those little folds there are going to fold inward. There we go. I hope everybody's having a good day today. Say, this is a really nice day out. I hope you have some time to get outside. The one that you can take your origami outside even, or once you've made your board, you can take the whole board outside. There you go. So you make each corner like this face inward. Okay. Reverse the fold. There we go. Then you're going to flip it over just like this. And you'll see you'll see, see, see all your guide folds here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to slowly make this press in. Now this might take a little bit of work too. You're gonna, I found the best way is I take my finger and I press it on the corner like this. Okay. And kind of press it in just like this along those guide folds. There we go. And there's our X. So you want to make sure that the folds are nice and crisp there. And there you go. There's our X. <laughs> Done. There's the bottom. You can see. Okay. Nice. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the O. Okay, so I'll show you how to fold the O. And once again, you're going to take two pieces of origami paper and we're going to make some guide folds so that we can cut smaller pieces. Okay. And what we're going to do for this one, again, we're going to fold it like that. And we're going to do quarters again, but these quarters are going to be long and thin. Okay. I love this bright orange paper. It really makes me think of summer. <laughs> there we go. So these are going to be oops, long and thin here. There we go. Just like that. And you'll do the same thing for a second piece of paper. Because again, we're going to be making five X's and five O's for your set of origami paper, origami tic-tac-toe. There we go. All right. So now we have two pieces of paper with guide folds on them. And you're going to take your scissors and we're going to cut carefully along those folds. And do our best here to kind of make them straight, though again, <laughs> if you're like me and your lines are nowhere near cut straight, that is okay. okay. It'll all come together in the end. Okay. There we go. Oh no, that one got away from me. <laughs> all right, there we go. And then we'll cut one more here. There we go, and we'll save the rest of this paper for later. So we can put our scissors away because we're finished with that. And we're going to use one of these to make our example, and I'm going to put the other papers away. So we've got our five papers. So now this is going to be an O shape, just like this. And the X was pretty complicated, but the O is very easy to do. So let me show you here. What we're going to do is fold this paper in half, lengthwise, just like this. And what I want you to do is make sure that this fold is nice and crisp. I like to run my finger or my nail against it so it's really crisp and really folded. That will help make making our O easier. And what you're going to do once your paper is folded like that is you're going to Kind of guide it. Okay, you're gonna make it into a circular shape. Okay, so you want to kind of get it practiced so it knows where it's supposed to be. <laughs> you're gonna open up one side of the paper. Okay, and you can do it to whatever size you want. Oh, I lost it. And we're gonna just insert this part into that part, just like this. And then you're going to move your fingers around inside so that it has a nice round O shape, just like that. Okay? And there it is. It's a circle after a fashion. <laughs> so there are our X and our O shape. Okay? There we go. Looks great, right? Okay. Now, of course, you want to play tic-tac-toe. Here is our board. Okay, and let me use the pieces I made earlier. Okay. Here are my X's. Here we go. And here are my O's. <laughs> and there you are. You have an origami tic-tac-toe set.
I wonder where I should go first. Let me play one game with you guys before I wrap up today. So I'm going to start with X. I always like to start with X, and I always like to start with the middle square. So whatever your strategy is, you know, we, everybody has their own way to play. So there's X, O, X, oh, there we go, O, X, O, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, it's down to the wire. <laughs> Say X. Oh, oh no. Oh, look. Oh, one. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, nice work. All right, everybody. Excellent work. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments here today. Um, if you have any trouble folding your X, you can watch the video on repeat. It will be up here on our Facebook channel. Um, and before we go, I just wanted to let you know I've been reading this super awesome book. It's one of my favorites from when I was a kid. Okay? This book is called The Witches, and it's by Roald Dahl with illustrations by Quentin Blake. Now, this book is great. I th thought it was very scary when I was a kid because the witches in this book are not nice witches. They are mean. Eh? <laughs> so the hero of this story goes to a hotel with his grandmother. And they come across a meeting of witches making evil plans. <laughs> so I won't spoil it, but it is a grand adventure. Um, and it is a little bit scary. There's also a really great movie if you're interested. Um, but I think this book, too, is probably one of the original editions that I read when I was a kid because um, it's literally from 1983. So <laughs> it's been around for a long time. Um, but Roald Dahl is always fun. Uh, we have lots of his books at the library. I also recommend James and the Giant Peach. That's a really good one. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. If you are reading anything good, please leave it in the comments. I'd love to see what you're reading. Um, I hope you're having a great day and staying safe. Remember, the branches of the library system, all seven of our branches, are open now. So you can come in and browse the stacks and pick out books. Um, you can also put books on hold. We're still doing curbside service, so feel free to do that and take advantage of it. We'll take your books out to your car for you. If you have any questions, let us know. But anyway, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys again in the future. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, I'm going to start again. There we go. <laughs>